Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have another crystal collection for you and I'm gonna be showing you all of my larger statement pieces. These are like the pride and joy of my crystal collection and a lot of them I got in Tucson including this beautiful rose quartz sphere that I got this year and I'm just really excited to show you because I think all the pieces are so beautiful and special so I really hope you enjoy the video. I have my beautiful big natural citrine point and I wanted a piece of natural citrine for a long time but if you know about natural citrine it is quite expensive because most of the citrine on the market is actually just heated amethyst and I found this one in Tucson two years ago it was the one thing that I wanted to bring back I was like I need to find a big natural citrine point and I just fell in love with it I thought it was so beautiful and look at all these rainbows in it how special is that i'll try and try and find all the rainbows look at that one it's just got them all throughout so i knew this was my perfect piece and i took them home and it was a pretty good price um for citrine you can find some really good deals in tucson and citrine is great for manifesting things in your life. So I'll bring that up to the window and you can see. It's just a really beautiful piece and I love it. I'm so excited to show you guys this. I got this in Tucson this year and it is a rose quartz bowl. And if you know me, you know how much I have wanted a rose quartz bowl. Um, and I got it for a really good price compared to what a lot of them sell for. And it's just beautiful, look at that. And it has a little bit of a crack here, but I actually think that's kind of pretty. It's kind of an orange color. And it's just a really great size. And I was so excited to get this. I carried it as a carry-on. And it's just like a dream come true. So the next stage up is getting a rose quartz bath. That is my ultimate dream is to have a big rose quartz bath. But for now, my bowl will do and I love it so much. I can charge my water in the rose quartz bowl. Now it'll be charged with love. So this year I really wanted to find a big rose quartz sphere from my Tucson trip and this is my baby. I love it so much and I was looking all over the shows for the perfect rose quartz sphere and most of them were really light in color or had a lot of cracks and cloudiness. Um, so I saw this one and it was just gorgeous, but it was kind of pricey. So I kept going back every day and like, oh, I really want it. And so I went to him on the last day of the show and I just kind of offered him a price. And at first he was like, no. And then we walked away and then he ran up to us and he's like, okay, I'll take it for that price. Um, so I got my baby and I was so excited. I just think it's so gorgeous just wanted a big rose quartz just to radiate love all throughout my home and I just have it on a little plastic stand it's just like a lid to a mason jar because I don't have a proper sphere stand for it because it is such a big heavy piece but I think it looks kind of cool and I just love her so much my beautiful Rosie. And then another thing I brought home from Tucson this year is this gorgeous, I think it's a Apophyllite with Stillbite cluster. Super beautiful. It's just a big chunk and it was amazing. We went to this warehouse and it just had rows and rows and rows of beautiful Apophyllite and Stillbite and 
it was really cool. Maybe I'll put some footage if I have some of that. And it's just beautiful. I feel like it's not really picking up the colors on camera. It's really peachy in real life. But it's just gorgeous. It just makes a beautiful display for jewelry. beautiful sunstone ring from Audrey Rose. And next up I have this beautiful twin clear quartz. It's just so beautiful. Look at that little rainbow. It's so clear for its size. It's just an amazing find. Really good quality. And I'll bring it up to the light so you can see it up there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. You can see the rainbows in there. Really pretty. And then I have my black tourmaline piece with mica. And it just looks like an art piece. It's so gorgeous. I love the shape. I love the mica on it. It makes it so, I don't know, just so beautiful. That's what they put in like mineral makeup to make it shimmery. But it does really flake off. You can see it's already flaking off down there, but it's so beautiful. It is a bit dusty because I don't know how to dust this off because I don't want to wet it because I think that the mica will just totally disintegrate. So it is kind of dusty. I'll turn it around. There the back side is. And black tourmaline makes a really great protection stone. Just really beautiful. So I love my black tourmaline. I like this side. Look at that. And next I have this beautiful piece of amethyst. And it's really sparkly at night. It's hard to show it on camera. But it's a beautiful size. And I've had this one for a long time. And it actually makes a nice kind of display piece for jewelry, so I'll show you that. So I just put a little necklace on there and I just think it's such a cool way to display jewelry. And then I have this beautiful hunk of amethyst, just kind of a really cool shape. And this makes a great display for jewelry as well. You can hold your bracelets. Or you can even put a little ring on there. I don't want to scratch it, but it's just kind of cool. And you can actually also display it upright. It stands upright like that. It's got kind of this concave part to it. It's like a little cave. Which do you guys like better, when it's standing upright or when it's laying flat? I think I like it better when it's laying flat, but you could display a necklace in there. That'd be kind of cool. I'll give you a close-up shot of everything. Ooh, got some rainbows in there. Here we have my big amethyst cathedral, and this is so heavy. I basically almost broke my back trying to get it up on the table um but yeah it's dark purple i just really like the shape it kind of reminds me of a mountain or a cave of amethyst it's kind of a unique amethyst cathedral and i tell you one day i want to have like a six foot amethyst cathedral in my bedroom but this one's pretty cool. Show you the size compared to my hand. That's what it's like on the inside. Try and do some close-ups. Goes deep within there. It's just really pretty. Here we have my beautiful big blue calcite. And if you watched my Tucson vlog a couple years ago, you know the story behind this. Um, I just fell in love with it. It's so 
such a calming color and it's just perfect. It's so nicely polished. Give you a close up of that. I love the shape. It's just like an art piece. I think crystals are the best art, especially big statement crystals like this. This is pretty big. And yeah, I carried this as a carry-on. It was very heavy, I think it's like 40 pounds or something, and I was really sick, but I was determined to bring it home. So this is my my big baby blue. You can see it's really skinny from the side. And that's it from that side. Kind of reminds me of a whale fin or something. Just love it. Give you a close up. It's just so perfect. And I got it for a really good price. And I have to show you my salt lamps because you guys know how much I love salt lamps. And I have these big statement salt lamps. They are so amazing. So this one is my darker orange one. Really beautiful. And then up here I have my lighter one. And then I have my diffuser going here. It just goes really nicely with the salt lamps. The light is so relaxing. So I just turn the lights off at night and relax with my salt lamp and my diffusers on. And I have my pothos plant just dangling down, saying hello to the salt lamp. So those are my statement crystals. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which crystal is your favorite. I cannot decide. I love them all. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. I will link that down below in the description. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video.